Previously on Skyblock Randomizer Nuzlocke. We traveled to X100 and Z50 to get the Blaze Rod, but it wasn't easy. We fought the Blaze, we fought a whole squad, but we won the battle and we got the Blaze Rod. Crafted this item I did by my own hand, and today we'll create a village with this brewing stand. Welcome back to Skyblock Randomizer Nuzlocke. My name is Spade and today we are going to build a village. But before we get into that, I figured I could start things off from here, the slime farm, because I have made a few changes here since last time, uh, most notable being the second layer, which is just kind of an overkill, but I just wanted to try it out see how it would work out with two layers and seems to be working out pretty good and uh, it's producing a lot of slime balls more than I can handle and uh, yeah it as you can see it works out really nicely I really like this design it's so awesome the little slimes get there and then they climb the ladder go all the way up there and uh, speaking of ladder I kind of made myself a little uh, well I made myself a little staircase up there I decided to uh, shut down the quote unquote, um, fr freaking ink sack farm or the squid farm because yeah, it, it was just kind of a thing going on from there. But uh, yeah, because of that, um, I decided to make a uh, staircase all the way up here. And as you can hear, the slimes are climb climbing up the ladders all the way here. I'm kind of thinking I may want to still move this, maybe. I, I, I'm, not really, I'm not really sure, but because uh, I wanted to have it like somewhere over here and it's still kind of a bit too far away, but uh, I don't know. I don't know, it's, it's just a minor thing, but it doesn't really matter too much. How much? Oh, holy crap, almost two stacks. And uh, let me just put everything over here and as you can see, I have a lot of slime, almost two, two uh, full chests, uh, plus I got more here. Plus all the ink sacks, or minus all the ink sacks, decided just to put them over there. And then this chest is also full. So yeah, a bunch of slime. But as I was saying, today we are going to build a village. Awesome project that I have been waiting for oh so long. And uh, finally we are going to get into it. So. Some episodes ago, I believe it was number 9, we got the uh, blaze rod from our ghetto blaze farm and uh, we were able to make the brewing stand and this stuff we are going to be using today. And uh, yeah, first things first, we need to build yet another holding cell. Yeah, that's right. So uh, obviously we need to make some mobs spawn and I'm not sure because I may just want to be yeah I, I want to be building it right next to the edge of this thing because I kind of want to just um, what I may want to do is uh, just uh, shut this holding down and uh, take it down eventually but for now we are going to have to build another holding cell because in order to make this thing work, we need to turn a zombie villager into a regular villager. That's how it's going to work. But uh, obviously in order to make zombies spawn, we need to build a little dark area. And this is probably already an overkill. Although it's gonna, most likely it's going to take some time. Because the zombie villager form is the, uh, the more uh, rare form of the uh, zombie so uh, it's gonna take probably some time in order to uh, get one spawn right here but uh, we'll see how we'll see how that is going to go how long that is going to take but well, there we go we'll start just by building some sort of cage for the mobs to spawn this should be far enough from the uh, hostile mob system that it's not hurting the efficiency of the mobs spawning here, so it, it should be fine, it should be fine. And now, I guess I'm, I'll make just one more layer, like so, whoop, no, there we go. 
And I'm not really sure what I want to do because the problem definitely is going to be because there's going to be a bunch of other mobs spawning and then I need to kill them and then separate the zombie villagers from the other mobs. So that's going to be kind of a difficult task to do. So what I was kind of thinking what I could also do is make like little holding cells so, so that the mobs would only be able to spawn on them like so but of course this would hurt the efficiency of this little ghetto farm but then again at the same time um, like does it really matter because it's gonna take a long time for me to get the zombie villager in the first place but then it's gonna be even more difficult of a job to uh, separate uh, the zombie villager from all the other mobs so what I could do is just make little cells like this this would also mean that spiders are not going to be able to spawn here which would be pretty nice so this I think is something that I am going to do with this farm so it's gonna take a little a little while so uh oh wait I don't want to put that over there. How do I want to make this anyways? Uh, not like that. I need to take you off and like so. Yeah, that, that could work. That could work. So I'm going to keep doing this and uh, just fill in this area with uh, one by two holding cells. And when I am done with that, I will return. Welcome back, and I am almost done. Just a couple more places to fill up. And how did this actually go? This is not supposed to go. There we go. Fill that in, and wait, how is this? How is this corner piece? Yeah, there we go. Thought so. So we'll take that one off. So I have a little like a uh, checker pattern over here and let me just fill this up I figured that would be kind of the best design with this so then I can just uh, knock out these uh, knock out these wooden blanks and it's gonna be kind of like Christmas you know opening up those uh, presents and seeing what we get there and uh, let me actually do I do have a stone axe here but let me AFK here Oh wait, I was kind of dumb because obviously they are going to be spawning there on the top and of course that zombie would have a shovel here. Oh, of course it would. So I'll need to get to the top. But do I have... Like, I do hear some mobs. So there are probably... Let's go for round one like this. Uh, mobs... Okay, well, I do. I might have enough torches. So that's awesome. Let me actually place them since I had. I thought I didn't have any torches left, but I do. So let me go ahead and do that. And now let's start opening some presents. This is probably going to take some time, so I'm just going to eventually make a cut. But nothing there. This, this could be kind of fun. Oh, a skeleton. Oh, that's not what I wanted at all. What about here? We got nothing. And apparently we got some um, freaking uh, bats over there. So that's awesome, hurting the efficiency of this awesome ghetto farm. So far only skeleton. And yeah, obviously, like I said at the beginning, pretty much this is kind of inefficient. But it's kind of fun, because it's kind of like on Christmas. Opening your calendar or just Christmas presents and seeing what you get. Do you get a zombie villager? That's the rarest one of them all. And there's a bat. Ah, oh, crap basket. Anything here? Nope. I think what I'm going to do is just uh, AFK a bit more just so I can get a bunch more mobs and then I will uh, return. Alrighty, I'm back and I made a few changes to this uh, ghetto farm over here and uh, let's take a little look Because I'm hearing nothing But these freaking bats it would be pretty horrible if there would be a creeper Like behind the corner, but I decided to change this thing into this kind of kind of random 
design so that I can have these pillars here so that will at least uh, stop the uh, uh, spiders from spawning plus okay well there goes my sword but also another point is that uh, if and when we have the zombie villager it, it will be easier to cut it off from the rest of the mobs when we uh, got this kind of design going on but as you can see Nothing but bats here, and that's freaking horrible, and that's hurting the efficiency of this ghetto farm even more. So that kind of sucks. That was the problem in the first place. I, I guess I could have had this like little present present kind of design here, so that I would have one by two spawning space. But all I could hear was freaking bats, and that's freaking stupid. Oh man, bats is bats are like the most horrible mob in the entire game but let's let's get out of here and I do wanna have my tato so let's do it like so lock this off let's go AFK for a bit and let's see if we are going to get bats again I had one zombie but it was a zombie not a zombie villager so that is not going to do but with this kind of labyrinth kind of designed uh, I might be able to cut them off more easy, easily, easier. I can cut them off easier. Yes, I can speak. Hopefully, that's the hope, dream, and belief. And we'll see how that's gonna work out. Okay, we we should have something. But let's see if we are only going to be hearing bats again. That would kind of suck. Okay, we got a zombie over there. Is that all that we have? Okay, we got two zombies, but they are wrong kind of zombies, so that won't do. Is that the same zombie that we already saw? Hello? Can I can I hit you from here? Hello? Mr. Zombie? Yup, it's the wrong kind of zombie. So I think what I'm just going to do is just keep AFKing. Let, let, let's do this one one more time together. Because it's kind of exciting to see what, what uh, kind of monsters are you going to get spawned right there. But the problem again is that there's a bunch of bats, which is hurting the efficiency. Oh damn. When will bats ever be useful? I'm waiting for that day. I truly am. Let's go ahead and eat some melons and maybe now we get we got something. Let's see. At least we we got off to a good start. We got two zombies, so that's awesome. Uh, but this time we got apparently nothing, cause so freaking many bats. Can I kill some of these guys? That would be pretty awesome. Uh, there we go. Kill the bat. Kill the bat. Kill the bat. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do is just keep on AFK and see how this works. Or maybe do I need to just put down all these pillars and then just let all that can spawn spawn there and then make it be really difficult to cut down that one zombie villager from the rest of the herd. But uh, we'll see. I I'm going to play around with this a bit and then I will come back. The bats, man! They are seriously killing me. Hurting the efficiency of this thing. I'm having like max two mobs, just like earlier. I haven't had more. Two is the highest amount of uh, hostile mobs that I ha I've seen spawn in this thing, and that's horrible. So what I decided to do is uh, take a couple of these back rows off from here so that there's gonna be more uh, room for the hostile mobs, hopefully, to spawn in this thing, and then still keep this kind of design here at the front so I can hopefully cut those uh, zom zombies, uh, those uh, zombie villagers off when and if one of them is actually going to spawn. But this isn't really looking good because yeah, they are the rarest form of the zombies to spawn and then most of the time there's only zombies over there. So let me, s I actually don't have a sword. So let me actually make, while waiting for the mobs to spawn, let me actually make some uh, swords and there we go let's just get some sticks like so and we'll go with four swords bada boom 
And let's take out this crafting table and then let's go see how many mobs can we actually get spawn here besides those pesky bats. Oh man. Did Mojang seriously just make these uh, bats into this game just to hurt the efficiency of like hostile mob systems? Because, you know, obviously hostile mob systems are made uh, to uh, uh, freaking manipulate uh, enemy mobs, hostile mobs spawning. So, oh, okay, and you are not the kind of zombie that I'm looking for. And, you know... They seriously serve no other purpose but just to hurt the efficiency of mob farms. They're just completely useless. But I'm not hear hearing it still. We got two zombies. Seriously. I bet there's going to be like a creeper somewhere. Oh man. The bat that escaped. Huh? I had like one creeper spawn here and that was... That almost ended badly. But seriously, still only two spawns. Really? And now I need to kill these all things off because they are hurting the efficiency. So yeah, this is kind of the same problem that I had with the Ender Enderman farm. The ghetto Ender Enderman farm. And oh man, that was horrible, but this is even worse. Let's do this one more time and then I'm gonna just uh, AFK again and uh, Maybe change something. Maybe take off one more row and we got a couple, couple of those things that, that escaped here. Oh man, I hate you bats. I hate you so much. This was supposed to be fun and I was gonna be like, hey, I'm gonna do this kind of design so it can be kind of like Christmas, opening up presents, but then in the end, it was nothing but bats. Imagine having a Christmas, you open up your Christmas presents and then you only get like bats there. Oh man, that would be horrible. That would suck. What kind of Christmas would that be? That would be the Minecraft kind of Christmas. Okay, let's see. And we got zombie. I heard one here. Hello, Mr. Zombie. And we got a spider there. Most definitely diddly do. Um, I'm not really sure if the if the uh oh! where did where did you come from oh man that was that was horrible thank you for the support guys really appreciate it uh, maybe it is a bit too dark in here so I may want to cover up this side like seriously the one zombie that spawns actually spawns outside and it's the wrong kind of zombie too so that's Freaking awesome. And maybe I should cover up this side. This is like bad if there's going to be like a skeleton or something like. Okay, well that's a spider most definitely. And I'm seeing nothing more. So I will start AFKing again and uh, if I get some results I will return and if I happen to change something I will return. So. We'll see how this Christmas is going to continue. Oh man, it's going to be a black Christmas. Alright, so next I'm going to try out an outdoor design, which is most likely going to backfire with skeletons and spiders spawning here, and also Endermen. Well, as long as they, they, they don't go to the mainland and grief there, I'm, I'm fine with that. But uh, we'll need to wait for the uh, night to come. So I thought while waiting, um, I'm gonna go and uh, prepare the uh, brewing stand and stuff that I need for that. So the first thing that we need is sand to uh, make those uh, flasks so that we can, uh, you know, make potions there and uh, then just go from there. And uh, I guess we need to take the sand from here. So. Bye bye, couple of cactuses to be released. Um, I. This is going to go for the greater good. The greater good. Also, the interesting thing that I figured I could show real quick while harvesting this stuff, which doesn't really matter. But let me see. Let me pull out some cactus because I don't really care about it. There we go. Well, I kind of just drew the uh, cobblestone. But as you can see, 
cactuses, is this like some sort of common bug that cactuses work as black holes? So, there's that one, but now it's gone too. And if I hurt this, take this thing off, well, they are not inside the cactus. So that's, that's kinda interesting to say the very least. I just don't want my sand to go there to the black void of the cactus, but that is apparently a thing. So we need some sand and we need to um, smelt this. So let me go ahead and put it over here. We need three of them and then we should be able to make like three of those um, those uh, flasks and then just go from uh, there. Let me go ahead chop down some wood while waiting because why not? And are they done? I'm impatient. Almost one more, one more. Let's chop down one more three. Let's go, let's go. So, oh, well, there goes that. Can I break you? Come on. Yes, there we go. And now we should be done. All right. All righty. Would be nice to replant these trees. So let me go ahead and do this first. There we go. That was for the greater good of the glass bottles or the flasks or the whatevers. Anything here, seriously? Well, I guess I can always plant these things later. Well, there is one. Give me two, give me two. Well, it is still, we're still waiting for the night sign, so that's the thing, and it seems to be like midday or something in the Minecraft world. So let me go ahead and get that. And these, and also what I was thinking is that I could get me some bows and arrows, because there's gonna be some skeletons, so sniping those guys off would be awesome, and we still got like plenty of time, so... We need those potatoes, there we go. So I'm gonna go, this is the old mob farm. I bet now as I'm going here, I'm gonna get like a zombie villager spawn like right here, and then I'm gonna rage. But hopefully that doesn't happen. Um, let me take you, let me take you. Can I combine you two to make, no, an ultimate bow? So let me take one more. I hear a zombie over there. I bet it's gonna be a zombie villager. Oh man. That would suck like so much. But I want some arrows. Well, that's a normal zombie. So, whatever. I just wanna get out of here. Let's get some arrows from here, like so. And so. Okay. I think we are good. We got so many zombies. Is. No, luckily. None of them are zombie villagers. So let's get out of here before I before I get sad. What? How how did how did how did this how does this work out? Oh, it's getting dark. That's awesome. Let's head back. Let's head back. And then I guess we can make the potion in a moment, but uh, let's let's try this out. Let's try this out. Let's put these glass bottles to the chest of victory over here and now we should already start getting some spawns so put those bottles here are we getting anything? E yes most definitely okay where, where did you just get out of here will ya get out of here well, I don't want them to be spawning like back here. So let me go ahead and do that. And now it should be pretty much complete darkness. So let's go ahead. We got those flasks ready for later use. Let's try this out once. See what kind of horrible monsters are we going to get spawning up there and how is it going to be working. Alright, let's go. Let's go. And how? Like, yeah, there's light, but seriously, this isn't good enough for the freaking 
mobs so that they can spawn here. Oh man, do I need to? What if I cover this side like so? Do 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 do. That's gonna hurt the efficiency because not that much space, but I really got no other options. Do I? And there's still light. So let me cover it like this. And maybe now it will be dark enough. Like so. And this side too. Okay. Maybe now. Now it definitely looks like there should be enough darkness for the mobs to spawn. So let's try this out one more time. Let's see what we are going to get. All right. I should be far enough. Let me get my uh, melons ready. All right. And let's go. We should have something here, right? It should be dark enough, right? I'm not hearing anything. What? So do, do I have the game on peaceful? No, I don't. No, I do not. I don't want to cover this up because then... Ah, oh, there's gonna be bats. That's the whole reason why I made an outdoor get so far. And just get that. Like so. How about now? How about now? Okay. I seriously. You'd think there would be some mob spawning here now, maybe? Third time is the Charmander, right? Right, maybe? And I'm seriously wasting a lot of time. But there we go, we got a skelly right off the bat. That's freaking awesome. Let's go snipe it. Can I can I snipe it from here? Yeah. No, that's not good enough. That is not good enough, not at all. Wow, I hate this thing. Do 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 do. Nope. Nope. You sir, just get off and did we not have Oh god. No. Just you sir. No, you are not killing me. Not today. Not today, sir. So that was seriously the only spawn? Seriously. Wow. Well, this is horrible. Um, I will return in a moment. Oh my goodness. Would you look at that? And the zombie? It's... No, 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 no. Don't do that. No, not now, not now, not now. Why is the thingy burning? Is it from... No. 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 Did it... You better be alive there. You better be alive. It was a creeper explosion which revealed that there was... Oh no, that's... That's not the guy that I'm looking for. Did it actually die? No... Freaking... Way. Oh, this... Wow. Wow. No, it's here. Huh. Huh. Yes. Except no, cause Mr. Creeper is there. And it's gonna be Well, I'm kinda just hoping that Mr. Hitbox will be kind on me today. Or maybe I can lure it somewhere else. Let me just cover this up, just so that it doesn't accidentally get sunlight. Because that would be horrible. We got it. We got it. Okay. Okay. And maybe now... Just maybe... Just maybe. Let, let me see. Is it... Where are you, Mr. Zombie? Let me actually just... Get up here all right and then 
Yeah, he's over there. So maybe now I can get him stuck to that one place over there. That would be pretty sweet. Except now I need to be so careful with this. So I'm gonna cover up this area. Alright. At least now we shouldn't have any other kind of mobs there. So that should be pretty awesome. Let me cover that up like so. You're still here. You are still here. So he's like right above this block. I mean that block. Over there. Okay. So let me cover myself right here. And then I will take this one off. Cover that one. Okay. This is going to be idiot proof. Okay. Okay. And so he is over here. No! No! The creeper. How did he? No! <laughs> Mr. Creeper, why? If he would have blown up the... Oh, man. No way. No freaking way. So, let me take that off. Okay. Well, this is... This is kind of bad. Well, maybe you'll stay there. Okay. No. Mr. Zombie. Hello. Please get over here. Please get over here. No. <sighs> Creeper. Okay, I I'll just take my chances. Hitbox, be kind on me. And it's dead. Yes, because smoke. Smoke on the water. Alright, let's try this out again. Oh man. So, let me cover this up. There we go. And he's like right above me right now. Okay. So let me take this off. And cover that up like so. That is freaking perfect. So there we go. We got the first villager. Oh man. He is covered, right? Alright, he's holding my blank. He's being a cool guy. So, le, 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 le. let me take this off from here. I need some extra blocks, potentially. There we go. Alright, now that is all covered from the sun. And now, let me take you off. There we go. Oh, wait. He's still able to... Yeah, he's still able to travel to that side. So I need to... Cover... Is it... That block is covered, but then... It's this one right here. Right below this one. Right. So let me... Not do that. Oh, man. Finally got this one villager zombie, so I, I don't want to do any any extra tricks that I don't need to Okay, let me do it like that So Let me Cover that up like so Okay And now, it should be good in the hood. And he's covered there. Okay, so, now the true fun begins. Let me take this brewing stand. I'm gonna place it like right over here, like so. And then, let me get this stuff. And make this into, I think it's shapeless crafting for the fermented spider eye. 
Except I forgot that I do not have freaking water in here. Really? Is that what it, what this is gonna come down to? I don't have I don't have water. I I need it, right? Will Spade be able to get the water in time? Is the village ever going to get built? Or will the bats keep ruining Spade's Christmas in April? The answers to these questions and more will be revealed in the next exciting episode of Skyblock Randomizer Nuzlocke! Coming this Sunday!